Jaja Maru's Great Adventure is a family computer video game that was released exclusively for a Japanese market in 1986. The player controls a red ninja, Jaja Maru, as he progresses through a series of Japan-esque levels, defeating evil spirits that have spread across the land. The player can even ride his faithful frog if he can recover it from hiding. And we get to play it now. Did I just start a game? Nah, let's start. Alright. The controls are simple, as you would expect from a retro video game. We just press the arrow keys to move, uh, for movement. We have shift and, uh, enter keys on our keyboard. And then we have Z, X, A, and S. So, X is for attacking. Ooh, attacking is fun. Oh, and we get, I think we get a score if we attack. Okay, so let's keep moving forward. Come here. Up, move up. What's that? Ooh, we have a feisty one. It looks like Doraemon for a bit. <laughs> That was over real quick. Oh, okay, we get to keep our progress. I'm still having a tough time moving. I jump by pressing A. X is for attacking, jump is A. Can I not kill this, uh, tongued thing? There's two of them. Oh my god. Seriously, can I not do anything to these tongue things? I got burnt. <clears throat> okay. Huh. Get away from me, Satan. Oh, no! Okay. <laughs> so intense, like, I, I, I hate it when they come close. Oh, and I'm supposed to get to that door. No! No! I think they... I think these ghost-like stuff are lives, actually. Oh, and there's a timer! I almost didn't make it. Alright. I guess the devil is in the details. I noticed that a bit too late, didn't I? It's a tad bit too late. Almost too late. Scene 2, player start. Ooh. No, get away. Scene 3 1. Player start. What? No. That was it? I mean, like, that was great for a first playthrough, but let's do again. Let's go again. <clears throat> oh, you see motorcycles. Alright, I think I get the gist of it. Scene 
So knock off, knock out uh, things. Is permit or whatever, and this dreamon looking frog. Get the ghost stuff. Oh, I can do that. No. Uh, <laughs> too curious. Oh, hold on, I know something. That block is uh, differently colored. I could only knock it once. And the second time, they'll set me on fire. time because A is for jumping and the up arrow is also for jumping but sometimes when I click the up arrow it doesn't jump okay let's try again these controls really they're so simple but see I'm pressing the up arrow right now this is what it's doing what is he doing it, it jumps when I press A Die. At least X is consistently for attacking. I can live with that. No. Good thing they die easily. Too close. Oh. I need to be a bit more strategic with how I proceed. I should stay low. That's what I did earlier. I, I should stay low until I get to that red door. I don't see the red door, so I should stay low. I also have to figure out their attack pattern. Sometimes it passes through the rock, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, one more time. Die, die. Get your spirit. Does that count for extra life when I get their spirit? Or is it just a score? It, it adds towards something. No! That is unfair. doing great so far. What? How did I die? I didn't see that. That felt personal. <laughs>
And why did that not die? Why does he not jump? Oh! Why does he not... Why does up not mean up? I think these spirit-like things are extra lives because I've been trampled over and over and I'm still alive. I wonder what, at what point I get to meet this, um, this faithful frog partner. Or is that the frog? No, 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 no. It says the frog partner was hiding. the impression that I can't actually do something about I can't eliminate the fires why did I walk into it the controls are so confusing my hand and eye coordination is failing me I want to go I want to jump but for some reason I keep I keep not pressing a to jump a <clears throat> This game, this game, I cannot with this game. It's fun, don't, don't get me wrong. It's fun, but it... Ugh. <laughs> I'll keep playing. No! Again. Die, die. Give me your life. I'm getting the hang of it. I just need to get used to it. I just need muscle memory in the, in the controls department. I'm doing it. I just need to keep going. Do not be discouraged. Alright, that was, that was a tough spot to get out of. I'll give that to myself. Push start. Okay, so I could also use Z to jump. Z is easier than A. I could jump using Z and A, and I'll use Z for now. Easier. Ah. I'm doing it. see that right like the first shot it uh like the obstacle blocks it but the second shots <sighs> I, I think i'm starting to see a pattern like the first shot uh will be absorbed by the obstacle but the second shot will be um will not <laughs> see
think that's how it is. At least that's what it looks like to me. No! There's a door. Okay. And I keep forgetting that there's a timer. I still have 24 seconds left, so that's cool. Alright, next stage. <clears throat> Come on, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh yeah, this is the one. Mm. Good. I have to hit him while I dodge the fireballs. Oh no, this is a different one. They revive? If they revived it, killing them would be pointless. Or not revive, more like they despawn they spawn again. They respawn. I guess revive and respawn means the same thing. Huh? This seems a lot tougher. No! That was unfair. I, I tried to say uncalled for and unfair. Unfair. That was unfair. That was unfair. <laughs> unfair and uncalled for. I'm too hasty. Again. Eat my shirt, you old hag. Die, trash. Ooh, what does this do? There's like a potion thing. I need to know what that little potion thing does. Am I invisible? Invincible? I seem invisible. I don't know if I'm invincible though. Okay, it's, it's only for a cer certain amount of time. Cool. There's a the door. Okay. Woo! That was so close. Alright, that is enough playing for now, and you guys know what the best part is? If you wish to play the game like it's 1986, check out our website and search Jojo Maru. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!